Today, let's take a quiz together on the muscles of the lower leg. This is a, a new idea for videos, so if you like this, please comment and tell me so, uh, and I will make more videos like this. So this is just an experiment. I'm gonna take a quiz on my app. This is a Complete Anatomy app, and they offer quizzes. So I'm gonna take the quiz and tell you sort of um, brain, you know, memory tricks and things that you can use if you're trying to study the muscles of the leg and, and, and help you along in how to reason your way through and actually remember this stuff. So uh, let's stop wasting time. Let's get to it. Real quick, my name is Anthony Davis. Uh, this is Shapeshift Wellness, a channel that uses science to explore fitness, yoga, and meditation. If you like that sort of thing, subscribe to my channel. All right, let's take a quiz together. Okay, so as I said, we're just gonna take this quiz together. If you need time to think on a question and read the question, then just pause the video because I'm gonna go through these rather quickly, but I will give you tidbits on how to reason your way through before I actually tell you the answer to these quiz uh, questions. Okay, first, we're looking at the back side of a person's uh, gluteal region here, and there are a number of muscles in here. So how do we tell which one's which? Well, identify the muscle that the X is on. Well, the biggest muscle, uh, right, sorry, yeah, kind of weird to point to it like that. Uh, but the biggest muscle right there is, you know, gluteus maximus. So hopefully you just already know that. And then the uh, piriformis, if you happen to know, is, you know, a really a smaller muscle and it's really, really deep underneath a lot of other muscles. So it's probably not that either. Um, and then the TFL tensor fascia lata, it's a lot of fascia, a lot of fascia. So the IT band is what uh, the TFL is connected to. And so um, that would be a different muscle. We've got medius or minimus of the two. Minimus is tinier, so it's probably deeper. So we're going with medius on this one. All right, what is the primary action of the gluteus maximus muscle at the hip joint? So what is the you know strongest action of your butt muscles? What do your butt muscles do? Well, abduction of the thigh would be to lift your, your leg out and to the side. A deduction would be to draw the leg back to the middle. Um, flexion of the thigh would be like bringing your knee to your chest. Medial rotation would be internal rotation. Interestingly, you know, uh, gluteus maximus actually, weirdly, is an external rotator and an internal rotator. So that's weird. I actually think I, think I made a video on that already. Um, Anyway, so we have all of these options. What does it do? Well, it's on the back side of the body. And usually uh, the muscles that are, you know, if a muscle is primarily on one side of the joint, it probably moves that bone towards the same side. So basically the gluteus maximus is on your butt. So we're going with extension of the thigh. Cool. Which of the following muscles passes through the greater sciatic foramen uh, to attach to the greater trochanter of the femur? Well, first of all, you got to know what all those things are. So the greater trochanter is that giant bony notch way over. Oh, I can't point to it way over on the uh, right side of your screen there. So it's the giant knobbly bit on the top of the femur there. And then the uh, sciatic notch is uh, drawn here by the author in orange. Well, Technically, none of these muscles, actually, I don't like this quiz question. Um, none of these really pass like through the foramen, but one of them, one of these muscles does kind of pass over it. So this is an important muscle because it happens to go over that foramen where the sciatic nerve comes out of that hole. And so this muscle happens to pinch that nerve a lot. The piriformis um, compresses that sciatic nerve quite often. All right, next. So uh, we're pointing to one of, well, where are we on the body? Where are we right now? Okay, there are the feet. So we're on the front side of the body and we're looking at the thigh. So, okay, so here we go. Let's go back to the here. Great. And notice they cut away a muscle as well. So they cut through a muscle that's really superficial that's on the top. And we're looking at a really deep muscle. So uh, the cut muscle they cut through is rectus femoris and uh, the other ones, so sartorius, A-S-I-S, -S, sartorius connects to the A-S-I-S -S, way up top there. So it's not sartorius. Um, and sartorius is the one that's like shaped like a V. It's the Taylor's muscle. Vastus intermedius, 
That sounds like a good answer. Lateralis, well, that would be lateral. So you just need to know the words. And then medialis would be a medial muscle. It's neither of those. So it's got to be vastus intermedius. All right, identify the muscle of the medial thigh. Well, all right, so the most medial of the adductors, so we're looking at the adductors, adductors of the thigh. Um, the one that's on the most inside of your thighs, that's really long muscle, that would be gracilis. So we have gracilis as a possible option. It's not gracilis, so it's a, it's a different muscle than that. And we've only cut through one muscle, as you can see, they cut through sartorius there in order to show us the muscle they're pointing to. And that's the only muscle they cut through. So if we had cut through one more muscle and we were looking a little bit deeper, then we would see this giant muscle and that would be adductor magnus. We haven't cut through it that much and yet we do have a rather large muscle there. So we're left with the choice of longus. And you can see that it's a long sort of muscle. Okay, uh, what action do the hamstring muscles of the posterior compartment of the thigh produce? Well, actually they produce a lot of different uh, actions. So let's see what options they give us. So do they abduct the thigh? No, no. No, that would be taking your legs out to the side, uh, like trying to do the side splits. No, they would actually stop you from doing that. So let's see here. What about the, well, kind of. Let's see, a deduction. Well, technically, yes, they do that, actually. That's technically true. Extension of the knee. No, they bend the knee. They don't straighten the knee. Extension would be straight. Um, straightening the knee. Flexion of the knee? Ah, there's our answer. But let's see the other one. Flexion of the thigh. That would be bending your hip, like drawing your knee to your chest. So no, it's not that. It is flexing the, the knee joint. So it's bending your knee joint. Because they cross the knee joint. The hamstrings cross the knee joint. Um, on the back side, right? Okay, which of the following is the proximal attachment point proximal versus distal? Proximal, in proximity towards the midline versus distal, distal being like at a distance from the body, like my fingers are distal to my elbow. Um, okay, so which of the following is the proximal attachment for the hamstrings muscles? Well, all of your hamstrings muscles converge on your sitting bones. So I hope you can see on that person's right leg that all of those muscles converge on the uh, sitting bone there. And well, what's the name of our sitting bone? Everybody likes to call it an ischial tuberosity, but that's technically wrong. It's actually pronounced ischial tuberosity, even though everybody in every anatomy class seems to pronounce that wrong, which irritates me to no end. All right. And all the other things are, you know, some of those were on the front side of the body anyway. So you get yourself oriented. Which side of the body are we even on? Right? Okay. Which of the following muscles of the leg assists in both dorsiflexion and inversion of the foot? Well, dorsiflexion. So dorsiflexors of the foot. Um, dorsiflexion is like drawing your, you know, if this is my foot, I'm drawing my he heel, like I'm doing, well, I'm doing that, right? Dorsiflexion. Cool. So that's drawing the foot upward towards the knee. Well, it's going to require them, like do this on your own body, like actually lift your toes or not your toes, your, your whole foot up while leaving your heel on the ground. And you feel that it's the muscles on the front side of your shin bone that actually do that action. So we only have a few options here, but we do have as options, we have um, extensor, extensor, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to click the correct answer because time's about to run out. But um, the, the point is that the uh, tibial, uh, tibialis anterior is going to dorsiflex and uh, invert the foot because it connects to the inside of your arch. So it actually lifts your arch up and creates a really great arch for your foot. Okay, besides assisting in plantar flexion of the foot, what action do the muscles of the lateral compartment of the leg? Okay, so muscles on the outside of the lower leg. 
So you can feel them too while you, I love to just like you feel a muscle and then you wiggle your foot around and you move your, uh, so take your foot and move it to the inside and then to the outside and then put your foot on the gas pedal and then take your foot off the gas pedal while you're actually feeling that muscle with your, your hand. And you should see that when you put your foot on the gas pedal and scoop your foot to the outside that, um, that you feel that muscle contract. Oh crap, crap, crap. What was it? Uh, e version of the foot. There we go. Ah, I don't think I actually chose it. I didn't get to it in time. It was E version of the foot. Those muscle muscles, uh, evert the foot and plantar flex the foot is the correct answer. Okay. Identify the muscle of the, the leg and it's labeled X. Okay. So we got two options. We got basically two major muscles of the, the calves. Technically we call it the triserae, which is kind of an annoying thing, but that's because gastronemius has two heads. Oh, I think I gave it out, gave it away. Right? So we have gastronemius, which is the biggest muscle of the calves. It's the one that makes your muscles, you know, the like look strong. And then underneath that we have soleus and that's what this is pointing to. And the way that one way that you could remember that, like which one's which, which one's deep underneath and which one's superficial. Um, I just remember soul like deep. Oh, you're like so deep. You got soul. So soleus is deeper than gastronemius. And lastly, uh, what is that muscle? Well, we've got a short muscle. It's not a long muscle. Most of the muscles of the foot, as you can see, there are tendons that wrap around the back of the foot and they go up into the back of the leg. So those are long muscles and long muscles sometimes are even called something longus. So it's a brevis, it's short. And then we've got options like extensor, you know, extensor. Well, extensors, extension is like lifting your toes or lifting your foot up off of the floor. So we're dealing with a flexor and where does it go? It goes to your digits. It goes to your toesies, your little toesies, but not your big toe because the big toe would be called halusis, um, halusis. So we're looking at the flexor digitorum brevis. Flexor, it's on the bottom of the foot. Digitorum, because it goes to the toes, but not the big toe. Brevis, because it's a little short muscle, not a really, really long muscle. How'd we do? Yeah, I know. I didn't get to uh, that last answer in time. I didn't get to click. So the muscles on the outside of the leg, again, fibularis longus and brevis, they plantar flex the foot and evert the foot. Cool? And they, actually, they're also important in stabilizing the arch. Well, longus is because it draws the base of the big toe inward and helps to create that arch with the help of um, tibialis anterior. So they work together in a pretty cool way. So I hope this was helpful, um, you know, just taking a quiz along with me. And if that was, again, please comment below and tell me that. And I will make more videos like this where I just I take quizzes and you can take them with me and pause and listen and and see how I think. And, and maybe that helps you to think through some anatomy too. And especially for you yoga people, because yoga um, in yoga anatomy uh, trainings, usually you don't have any quizzes. There's frankly no accountability. And so, you know, you don't actually have your knowledge put to the test. So this might be kind of a shocker to you to be like, ah, oh, I don't know what these muscles are. <laughs> So maybe this is useful as a substitute. All right. Thank you. Uh, this has been fun. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Do all the things. Share it with your friends. Sharing is caring. See you next time.